cooperative bill is now called to order. For the record, I would like to ask the uh, uh, Secretariat to please uh, confirm those who are attending this hearing this morning.
I'm uh, conferring with uh, Senator Coco. Uh, so the committee hearing is uh, resumed. Thank you very much to our committee secretary, uh, Maan, for acknowledging the resource persons today. I just have a quick opening statement. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Thank you for attending today's meeting. The Subcommittee on Cooperative Banking Bills under Committee on Banks, Financial Institutions, and Currencies uh, has called this public hearing to consider Senate Bill Number 1315, authored by Senator Bong Revilla, and SB Number 2392, authored by this representation on Cooperative Banking Act. With the enactment of the Philippine Cooperative Code of 2008, of many, many of which uh, uh, those who are here had, had supported, the cooperative sector has been given both the chance and the challenge to play a bigger and more meaningful role in the delivery of financial services to rural areas, especially in the extension of loans and credit to marginalized communities in the countryside and far-flung areas. Cooperative banks are owned and financed by primary cooperatives using funds from shareholders of co-op members such as farmers, fisher folk, micro-entrepreneurs, and small traders. In return, these primary cooperatives borrow money from, co from cooperative banks to support their loan programs for members. After deducting the appropriate statutory funds at the close of each year, the net surplus generated by our cooperative banks are then plowed back to its members, both regular and associate. That is the dynamics of it as far as we know. The importance of strengthening our cooperative banks is that with a strong cooperative banking system, may maasaan ang ating primary co-ops, lalo na ang daating mga credit co-ops. 
Our credit co-ops in return provide easy access to co-op members and um, nasa kanayunan, no, far-flung areas na walang access to regular bank credit. Ang ating mga co-ops ay nagbibigay sa ating mga membro ng wide variety of financial services na di nabibigay ng mga tradisyonal na financial institutions na gaya ng commercial banks. Sa parang ito ay naisasabuhay ang ating sector, ang ating mantra, helping the Filipinos help themselves. It's a ripple effect that stands to benefit all. And I've said this many, many times in many of my speeches about cooperatives, that they do uh, assist a lot of our marginalized fisher folk and uh, farmers. Eh, sabi ko nga, eh, kung nakachinelas ka, eh, nakashort pants na butas-butas, papasok ka sa isang bangko, hindi ka papasilin doon. At least, yung mga kooperatiba and co-op banks ay makaka-cater sa ating mga, uh, sa mga pangangailangan na ating mga small and micro uh, businesses as well as uh, the farmer and fisher folk. Um, and so, this will stand to benefit many of our marginalized brothers and sisters. It's either that or they go to 5-6. And we all know how, how, how uh, disastrous 5-6, uh, you know, the, what they call 5-6 uh, loan sharks are to the uh, economic life of our people. So as of 31st August of 2021, the CDA reported that 24 cooperative banks are operating in the country, four of which are operating nationwide. 10 region-wide, 9 the provincial level, and 1 in the municipal level. Total assets of the cooperative banks as of 31st December 2020 amounted to 23,425,000, oh, sorry, 23 billion rather, 425,716,882. Of the 24 cooperative banks, all but one are categorized large by asset size. Given the aforementioned, the measure aims to create a more robust legal framework for cooperative banks. This bill is envisioned to make them more responsive to the challenges of the new cooperative code. It will provide for the registration, regulation, operation of cooperative banks, and hopefully expand the market reach of our cooperative banks to the 499 unbanked cities and municipalities in the country to better serve our farmers, fisher folk, micro-entrepreneurs, small traders, and other rural workers. I do hope that we have a fruitful discussion on these bills under consideration, considering <clears throat> that there are uh, agencies that do not seem to support the measure. And that is why we need to have a free flow of discussion to be able to come up with the best possible uh, solution to this problem. Um, if uh, we will await some of our colleagues in the Senate to, to appear, I know that we, get, we have commitments from some of our colleagues to, to appear, we can uh, recognize them as soon as they uh, arrive um, into the Zoom meeting. So uh, we will ask the government agencies because, you know, banking is a highly regulated industry. We're going to ask the government's position on the bills. Um, I would like to start with, since this is a financial uh, uh, measure or which entails the money of the people, we would like to invite first to give his... Uh, or their manifestation, the members of the Department of Finance, uh, who among the members of the Department of Finance, who uh, can give uh, the opening statement for the department and their uh, uh, recommendations on this measure. Assistant Director Emma Asusano, or if there's anyone else designated, you are recognized. Uh, representing, of course, Secretary Carlos Dominguez. Is this a... Uh, so we have members of the Bureau of Treasury. We have also uh, from the BLGF. We have also the Supervising Tax Specialist and Chief Tax Specialist. May we just ask a one, one point person uh, who can speak on behalf of the Department of Finance. Sino po iyon? May we have someone from the Department of Finance? Yes, uh, good afternoon po, Mr. Chair. This is Director Arvin Pinones from the DOF. I'm here to represent uh, on behalf of Secretary Dominguez uh, and here to manifest our position on the bills to be discussed today. Um, the DOF recognizes the bill's uh, intent, the measure's intent to encourage the establishment of cooperative banks in order to make credit facilities available. Uh, however, we do not support the measure, and uh, as we note, there are already several laws already in place to meet the bill's objectives. 
uh, consistent, uh, Mr. Chair, with the position papers, uh, position paper that we sent to the committee last year. Uh, we note that uh, first, the proposed tax exemptions from all national, city, provincial, municipal, or barangay taxes, fees, and charges is a reiteration of the exemptions provided in the Philippine Cooperative Code. And then second, Mr. Chair, uh, the BAR and the CDA, the Cooperative Development Authority, uh, joint rules and regulations already clarified that duly registered cooperatives dealing or transacting businesses with members are exempt from paying taxes under the tax code as amended, which includes uh, taxes on income, value-added tax, percentage tax, donor's tax, excise taxes, and all the other fees and charges, Mr. Chair. Um, we, we can submit a copy again of the position paper if requested by the committee. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, we have it. I have it right in front of me, uh, Director. And just for the record, uh, it says here we recognize the bill's intent to encourage and establish cooperative banks in order to make credit facilities available and readily accessible to cooperative members. In fact, there are several laws already in place to meet the bill's objective. Uh, but we don't, uh, unfortunately, we don't uh, support the measure. And they raised, uh, you raised the following points on the tax privileges given already to uh, the cooperative banks under the co-op code uh, in the BIR regulations. Uh, you mentioned, just for the record, uh, Arvin, no? uh, Director Arvin, para mabanggit ko na. Uh, also, you mentioned several sections of the tax code uh, on the exemptions. Uh, and also you mentioned in number six of your explanation of the department is that we recently passed Republic Act Number 11534, otherwise known as the CREATE Law. Cooperative banks would have already gained from the reduction of corporate income taxes for with net taxable income, not exceeding 5 million with total assets, not exceeding 100 million. So uh, this is the position of the Department of Finance. Hindi kaya to, Director, na hindi nyo sinusuporta ito dahil magiging karibal to ng land bank? Just... Di naman siya ganun. <clears throat> Namawawala kayo ng, uh, uh, addition, uh, of course, uh, loans from uh, the co-ops. But of course, you don't have to answer that, Director. I was just uh, saying that as a, as a side comment. But we, we have the, uh, of course, we have the uh, letter from the Department of Finance signed by the Secretary. And we have to carry some weight to this because the Secretary, uh, as we know, has... Uh, frowned upon additional tax exemptions and uh, uh, incentives given to, to different industries. So we take note of this, Director. Marami salamat. And in the course of the discussion later, we may, recognize, we may recognize you again. We might call you again to answer queries and points of our uh, resource persons. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Director. Um, we'd like to also... We'd like to also now recognize from the uh, recognize uh, someone from the BSP. Sino po ang taga BSP uh, com comsac? Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Yes, please introduce yourself and open your uh, video kasi hindi po kayo makita sa dami ng pangalan. Uh, Maria Belinda Karaan, ma'am. Yes, po. There you yes, go, ma sir. Yes. Okay, ma'am. We know the the position of the BSP on these uh, particular measures. Yes, po. The Banco Central ng Pilipinas supports the passage of legislative measures envisioned to foster the creation and growth of cooperatives as a practical vehicle for promoting self-reliance, communal unity, and harnessing people power towards the attainment of economic development and social justice. The BSP also recognizes the important role played by cooperative banks in the delivery of basic financial services to the public and to its member co cooperatives and uh, individual members. Uh, in addition, since cooperative banks are imbued with the public interest, there's a need to strengthen the regulatory and supervisory powers of the BSP over this cooperative institutions. That will be all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, in a nutshell, hindi po kayo opposed sa measure na ito, ma'am uh, Belinda? Uh, no, we, we uh, support 
re, uh, legislative measures to towards the uh, strengthening of cooperative banks. Thank you, ma'am. And all you wish is that the BSP still continues its regulatory functions over them. And uh, in the process, strengthen it, sir, also. Okay, ma'am. Sige. So when we create the TWG, we'd like to make sure that the BSP is uh, also represented there so that uh, we can make sure that uh, the regulatory functions of the BSC, BSP will not be diminished but rather strengthened. Thank you very Thank much. You. So um, we'd like to also, do we have anyone from the Department of uh, Trade and Industry? Sino po, ma'am? May we request uh, Director uh, Emma Susano, uh, Assistant Director Emma Susano, board? Um, yeah. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Um, think, uh, we, have, we will be submitting our position paper because I, as I understand, the, um, the DTI officially, our Bureau of Trade and Industry uh, Regulate Policy Bureau have received it late in the evening of January 31. So we still have to, sub, we will be submitting our official position paper, but offhand, uh, from where we are coming from, from the Bureau of Small and Medium Enterprise Development, this bill is supportive of the MSME development plan where in access to financing will be broadened in terms of giving our MSMEs more opportunities, more options where they can access financing. Thank you, Ma'am Emma. Siguro, yeah, once you study it, maybe you can also make recommendations if there are for amendments uh, already uh, at the proper point in time. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am. Uh, we'd like to recognize, uh, of course, the the uh, body that actually is also in charge of this measure, not only with the BSP, but in, but uh, the Cooperative Development Authority as well. So may we recognize uh, ASEC Vidal Villanueva. ASEC uh, Villanueva, good afternoon po. May hapon among pinangga na senador. Assalamu alaikum, sir. sir. Good day. Um, Mr. Chairman, at the outset, we wish to extend our gratitude to your office for allowing the Cooperative Development Authority to express its comments on this very important proposed legislation, which provides for the registration, regulation, and operation of cooperative banks. To our mind, once enacted into law, the Cooperative Banking Act will open cooperative banks to more allied undertakings and enrich the Philippine financial system by placing them under the joint regulation of the Cooperative Development Authority and the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Under this act, cooperative banks will be established, managed, and regulated under the supervision of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas as primary regulator. Um, cooperative banks will be authorized to engage in wide range of financial services such as extending credit deposit taking, discounting and rediscounting, correspondent um, banking, dealing in debt securities, among others, authorized to invest in equities of allied undertakings such as banks, financial institutions, and non-bank financial intermediaries. Granted incentives and privileges, including, among others, exemption from all national and local taxes, fees and charges, fees and charges as provided under the cooperative code and related laws subject to certain conditions. Able to enjoy expansion of membership by opening up the sector to member foreign cooperatives provided that such foreign cooperative members may not own more than 40% of the total outstanding voting shares of the cooperative bank. Prescribed limitation on their lending authority by imposing on the private borrowings of a ceiling of 25% of its unimpaired capital and surplus, authorized to convert funds collected and administered by the Cooperative Development Authority under PD-175 as capital for the purpose of 
of augmenting the capitalization of qualified cooperative banks. We believe that this proposed legislation will cure the conflicting regulations with the Cooperative Development Authority in its function as prime regulatory authority of the cooperatives and the Banco Central ng Pilipinas as the regulatory agency with a supervisory power over all banks and financial institutions. That's all, Mr. Chairman. Daghang salamat. Huwag mabuhi po kayo, sir. Daghang salamat, uh, board member, and also regards kay uh, Commissioner, uh, kay Chairman Joy uh, and the whole you, uh, team at the CDA. Daghang salamat. So, uh, moving forward, now let's, stay, let's talk to the stakeholders. Uh, we have with us, I believe, uh, the different banking sectors that are here. We have the Rural Bank Association of the Philippines, uh, represented by Director Raquillo. Yes, sir. Uh, Good afternoon, Director. Mr. Chair. Yes. Which one of you? Because the two of you are here. Yeah, I, I will be speaking. I'll okay, be speaking. thank you, ma'am. Uh, we recognize mayong, you. Ma mayong hapon again, um, Mr. Hapon. Chair. I am Milot. I am Executive Director of ARBAP, and I'm speaking here. Uh, in, I'm in Davao right now. So, Mr. Chair, um, we will also be submitting our position to these bills. Uh, we just received the bills actually this morning. And our initial reading or assessment, Mr. Chair, is that um, actually it raises a lot of questions, no? such as what will be the difference between the cooperative bank and the rural bank app, since we cater to the same sector like the farmer, the fisher folks, the MSMEs. And what will happen to some of our members who are already a rural cooperative bank with a license of a rural bank? What laws will govern them? And um, uh, browsing through the powers and functions and allied undertakings, all of these are just the same from the RB Act, uh, Mr. Chair. And so we wanted to clarify these things in, a in the technical working group on how it will be differentiated from a rural bank. So, so with that... Um, of course, we will also be assessing on how it will impact the rural banking industry, who is also at the same position with the cooperative banks, but more on really regulated by the central bank. We also would like as well to ask um, BSP on, on how they envision this one uh, and, and how can they differentiate it now to a rural bank and a cooperative bank. Uh, that's all, Mr. Chair, and thank you so much for the opportunity that you have given to us to express as well our position and our um, opinion on this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ma'am Milot, uh, Director uh, uh, Riquillo. Daganggeg, salamat, Ma'am. So, we'd like to recognize the, uh, before we continue the distinguished, our distinguished uh, member of the Senate, Senator Risa Ontiveros, who's also the Vice Chair of this committee, very, very active and hardworking member of the committee. Ma'am, would you like to say a few words? Thank you. Maayong hapon, Mr. Chairman. I apologize for uh, arriving late to our very important hearing. I'm honored to join the chair in his and our common uh, advocacy to uh, advance the agenda of cooperatives and cooperativism uh, in the Philippines. And I'm honored, Mr. Chair, to um, uh, join the chair in constituting a quorum for today's hearing. So if I may, Mr. Chair, briefly lang, siguro a minute or so, Magandang hapon, Mr. Chair, maayong hapon at mga kapartner sa kilusan at sektor ng kooperatiba. I fully support legislating a cooperative banking act with emphasis on giving the cooperative banking sector to have its own policy guidelines and standards that are distinct and unique from those of the rural banks and commercial banks. At the proper time, I hope that the chair will allow that I be a co-author and co-sponsor of this measure while I'm fully supportive of the bills passed by our colleagues in the House of Representatives and, of course, the Senate versions filed by our walang pagod na trabahador at kampiyon ng kooperatiba sa Senado, Chair Miggs, and also that of Sen. Bong Revilla, I would also like to be clarified during this hearing on some issues pertaining to specific provisions of the bill. Consistent with my position on any subject matter involving foreign entities, regardless if that's energy, telecoms, health, and pandemic, and responses, and even international treaties, lagi kong tinatanong to what extent will foreign entities be involved in the organization and the extent of their influence in the industry and society. While I am fully aware that the banking industry has been liberalized, 
kasama sa pagpapalakas ng mga co-op banks and pagprotekta sa kanila bilang nagsisimulang player sa industriya. Kaya mahalaga po para sa akin na malaman kung sino ang mga foreign cooperatives, paano malalaman kung legit silang foreign co-ops, paano sila magiging kabahagi ng mga co-op banks, at paano mapoproteksyonan ang ating lehitimong co-op banks sa mga pagkakataong may mga foreign interests na posible silang gawing dummy. At the proper time, Mr. Chair, I'll also be raising some concerns on the changes of the classification of co-op banks as secondary co-ops and their members, in particular, the implication of individuals as regular instead of being associate members. And uh, finally, Mr. Chair, as an agrarian reform advocate, I will also be seeking clarification with regards the privileges granted to co-op banking, in particular, Section 29.3 on foreclosed agrarian reform land holdings. Alam nyo naman, Mr. Chair, ang posisyon ko sa reformang agrario, siguraduhin maprotektahan ang mga agrarian reform beneficiaries and communities sa posibilidad na mabawi ang mga lupang ipagkaloob na sa kanila. Dagan salamat, Mr. Chair, and I'm looking forward to catching up, hearing the views and positions of our co-ops and other stakeholders. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, and uh, our very uh, able and capable senator from uh, Panay and the uh, Republic of the Philippines, one of our, she's also our trabajador ng Senado, to be honest. And then so happy with you, all your happy bills, Talagang napaganda po ang buhay na napakaraming kababaihan at uh, kabataan uh, with the measures that you've passed. So thank you very, very much, ma'am. And um, so moving forward, of course, your staff, ma'am, will be part of our uh, technical working group so that we can discuss uh, if, uh, how to improve the measure uh, if need be, uh, ma'am. Thank you. So moving forward, so we are done with the, the Rural Bankers Association of the Philippines. Uh, we'd like to also uh, recognize um, the bankers. Is the Bankers Association of the Philippines with us today? May you recognize uh, the Bankers Association of the Philippines representative for their uh, statement? Sino po, Ma'am Secretary? Wala. Okay. Moving forward, we have with us, of course, the Land Bank. And uh, alam mo, mahal na mahal yung land bank. And I used to be with them all the time because we used to have Gawad Pitak. I heard that they're going to return Gawad Pitak. And I'm hoping that they will return Gawad Pitak uh, this coming year because it was the uh, the most sought-after award by many of our cooperatives. And uh, it was an exciting time every time we had the Gawad Pitak uh, uh, awarding ceremony. And also, of course, even just to look for the winners for the Gawad Pitak was actually... Uh, something that we in the office, in my office, always look forward to. So I'm so happy that we can get uh, the Land Bank to start that program once again. May you recognize uh, the Land Bank representative? Is it Ms. Maria Melissa Bernardo? Uh, yes, right? Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, Paul. Good afternoon. Please give my best to my schoolmate, Ma'am Cecilia Borromeo. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, but what's the position of uh, the land bank on this, okay, ma'am? Sir, um, uh, I'd like to read our um, statement of support. Um, in a true cooperative spirit, land bank continuously strives to collaborate with various relevant government agencies and instrumentalities, both at the national and local levels, including the Cooperative Development Authority and other key stakeholders to promote and solidify cooperative movement in the country and help build opportunities for them to become a sustainable sector. In this context, we support the general intent of this policy in seeking to create and institutionalize a more robust legal framework that will strengthen the financial condition, boost operational agility, enhance management and governance system, expand market reach, and simply uh, right-size the way the cooperative banks do business in the best interest of the banking public. Along with these collective pursuits, Land Bank stands ready, as it always been, to support the cooperative banks 
through various innovative and appropriate financial supports and collaborative investment undertakings that will help pump prime our local economy. We are also confident that together, we can seize new opportunities for shaping a more resilient, inclusive, and sustainable future for the Philippine cooperative banking system beyond this crisis. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, we would also like to inform you that the bank will submit a comprehensive position paper on the relevant uh, positions of the said bills uh, by next week, po, because we just uh, received the notice this morning. That's all, sir. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. I know, you know, we're, we're really pressed for time. And so I wanted to also uh, give importance to the sector, particularly cooperative banks. And, you know, Ma'am Risa knows how busy we all are. Last Monday, we did a record-breaking for the Philippine Senate, 166 measures on third reading that we all voted for one by one, uh, at least to be able to come up uh, with uh, also being able to pass local bills that our colleagues in the House that had wanted. So our apologies for the delay on the hearings of this matter. It's just that uh, the timing really, and we were hit by the pandemic. As you know, the first week of this uh, uh, month of February or January when we started session, we had to close down our sessions due to uh, um, infection by uh, COVID to our members, almost 200, if I'm not mistaken, almost 200 of our staff in the Senate. So, pasensya na lang po. We were supposed to hear it then, but, <clears throat> but of course, uh, it's uh, force majeure and we had to close the Senate down. So, On, may we also ask the land bank later on? She just got the, I'm sure land bank cannot give the comment right now because she just got the measure. They'll study it. But there's just, uh, we'd like to ask you to comment later on in your position paper on chapter five, section 20, ma'am, of the, on the power of cooperative banks to discount and rediscount paper, uh, discount and rediscount paper with the land bank of the Philippines. So, mga checks yan. So I think, You'll need to comment on that, ma'am, on how we, if you want it amended, uh, what is the position of Land Bank on that particular issue? Yes, so Mr. Chair. Yeah, okay. We won't ask Thank it for you. You, from you now, don't worry. We'll uh, let you study the matter and, of course, uh, take it up. Thank you. Later on. Thank you, ma'am. Moving forward, uh, do we have any representative from the Development Bank of the Philippines? Well, none from the Development Bank of the Philippines. We have with us here, President of the Field Guarantee Corporation, or rather, we have a member from the Field Guarantee Corporation. We'd like to recognize Mr. Teresito Butardo. Sir. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank good you for sir. Um, allowing, yes, sir. Thank you for allowing us to participate in this um, in this activity, sir, in this undertaking. And uh, we just uh, in, uh, received this invitation just on uh, this lunchtime. So, um, but nonetheless, uh, we fully support this piece of legislation as this provides a vehicle to enhance the financial uh, infrastructure that would probably support uh, financial inclusion, especially for the farmers and fisher folks in the countryside. However, we noted the automatic eligibility of cooperative banks with accreditation as rural financial institution with the Philippine Guarantee Corporation. We, um, in, in, in the... Um, uh, as, um, as a matter of policy, sir, we require that uh, all the financial institutions should be uh, profitably operating, and uh, among others. And uh, if we are going to consider that as uh, um, this uh, cooperative banks as automatically eligible for field guarantee, so uh, we have some apprehension as to how are they going to uh, um, continuously. Um, or, or sustain the program. So uh, we will submit our official position paper on this matter, sir, um, because we just um, recently re uh, read this uh, um, bills for, for an answer. That will be all, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dresito. Actually, don't worry, everyone. No, this is just the initial hearing. Uh, we will see if we still need to have a second hearing or straight to the technical working group. But definitely, we will get all the inputs from all sectors so that uh, we will get the best possible outcome. So thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.
Um, do we have anyone from the Philippine Crop Insurance Commission? None. Now let's go towards the, let's go to the cooperative banks. Uh, let's hear from the cooperative banks on uh, uh, why they would like to, uh, before I do that, is there any representative from the Department of Agrarian Reform? Hola? No, no, I think as well. So let's uh, go to the cooperative banks. We have the executive director, well, we have the Cooperative Banks Federation of the Philippines, Bank Coop. May we recognize uh, the representative of uh, uh, Cooperative Bank of Federation of the Philippines. Attorney Miquel Borigas. Uh, hello. Good afternoon. Yes, so whoever is whoever is uh, ready. I think Attorney Molina, if you uh, attorney. is that you, Attorney Molina, ikaw po yan, or sino po ang magsasalita? Yes, uh, yes, sir. Uh, I am Attorney Hubert Molina. Uh, it so happened that uh, my colleague, uh, Attorney Burigas, is presently confined in a hospital, so he cannot attend this hearing. Oh, I hope I wish him well. We pray I'm, for his uh, speedy I'm, recovery. Okay, I cannot speak also after him. Ah, okay. So, uh, I think uh, Attorney Michael Borigas is here with us. Anyway, uh, we would like to thank the Office of the Senate, uh, Senator uh, Migs, for taking the time to uh, tackle this measure. Akala namin uh, wala nang time dahil uh, election period na. Uh, kami ay nagpapasalamat dahil uh, natakil din itong aming mini-meeting Cooperative Banking Act. Uh, for the information of everyone, co banking, cooperative banks have been in existence for almost 40 years already. Hindi po kami bagong banko. Uh, kaya nga ang problema namin, we are associated with rural banks. Uh, we are not accorded the due recognition as a separate uh, cooperative bank. Uh, we have our unique uh, character uh, different from uh, rural banks. And that's uh, what we want to be uh, recognized as a cooperative bank. Because uh, the, the very intention or the very nature of uh, cooperative banks is to serve its members. Ang mga membro po namin at ang mga may-ari, kami po ay nag, uh, nagyayabang po na ang mga may-ari po ng mga cooperative banks ay mga magsasaka. Yung mga maliliit uh, these are headed by, of course, uh, through their primary cooperatives. And uh, lahat po ng uh, rational purpose, importance of this bill, of this measure, has already been uh, summarized by ASEC uh, Vidal Villoneva, who have been, uh, we've been working hard for this one, na sana mapasa na po. So again, maraming maraming salamat po sa office ni uh, Senator uh, Mig Subiri and also po, to the office of the Senate. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, uh, Attorney Molina. And nakita ko kanina si Attorney Miguel. I hope you're all right. Ano nangyari po sa inyo? I hope it's nothing serious. Uh, and I hope that you can get back on your feet. Kaibigan po natin yan, si Attorney uh, Miguel. So, hello po, hello po, Senator. Yeah, I just want to acknowledge that you're present uh, into this meeting. Even if you're in your hospital bed, yan talagang believe ako sa iyo. Pagmamahal mo sa kooperatiba. Sige. Thank you po. Thank you po. No need, no need um, to, no need to ano na. Pahinga ka na, attorney. Pahinga ka na. No need to participate. Okay, thank you po. Thank you. It was, uh, your position is very well articulated by attorney Hubert Molina. So, uh, anyone else from the cooperative sector uh, that would like to, to, I mean, in the cooperative banking sector, that would like to speak? Before we uh, take up the individual operating banks, uh, may we recognize our Suki in the committee. Suki po yan sa lahat ng bills na... Uh, pinasa natin from the cooperative code to the cooperative development officer to the uh, CDA charter, uh, uh, strengthening the CDA charter. No other than, for she's with the academe, no other than uh, Ma'am Prof Professor Elenita Mantalaba. Ma'am, good to see you again, Ma'am. You're on mute, Ma'am. Sorry, you're on mute. Oh. 
Okay. So, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Senator Mix and Senator Risa. I'm glad that uh, we're invited again for this, for this uh, hearing on uh, property bank. I fully, we have fully support this bill because this will actually mainstream cooperative banking. Now, we know that cooperative bank property right now is not as strong as other banks. They are actually mingled with cooperative rural bank as a, as a sector in the banking industry. But we'd like to have a unique, no, a distinction between a cooperative bank and a rural bank. And this measure will really mainstream and will give the distinction of a cooperative bank from, from other types of bank. So this is actually a measure that will benefit not only the cooperative banks, but also the other types of cooperatives like right? cooperatives, consumers, and also the farmers and pickers, fisher folks. These individuals are also accepted as members of cooperative bank. Now we have revealed here in the bill that uh, individuals uh, can also, as, as, although um, cooperative bank is a federation, as far as the bill is concerned, the individuals can also be accepted as members of a cooperative bank. So uh, now my concern actually is on more taxation. It's also taxability. Will the tax provisions of RA 9520 be, uh, will also be uh, adapted under for cooperative banks? Of course, the is 100 million in, in uh, net savings and uh, accumulated net surplus. But as far as members are concerned, Shall we apply also the exemption on withholding tax to individual members under this law? Kasi nakalagay naman. For those that are in the RE 9520, individual members of cooperatives are exempted from the withholding tax, of final tax of 20% on their interest on deposits. Shall this, will this be applicable also on cooperative banks? If I am, a, as an individual, is a member of a cooperative bank, Will the interest on my deposits be exempted also from the final withholding tax of 20%? Because this is actually uh, uh, adapted by uh, primary cooperatives, credit cooperatives. So if this is the case, then we can invite individuals actually to be members of the cooperative banks and be exempt also from this 20% uh, withholding tax on interest on deposits. And also, um, uh, aside from the Aside from the uh, the uh, Nayon, the, the bio, bio guarantee fund and the Samang Nayon, now all funds that are administered by CDA will be transferred to the cooperative banks. And this will actually strengthen the capital structure of cooperative banks, which actually are very in need, which are in need of financial resources. So I think the later will still be, will be on, as far as uh, management, governance, actually they are more or less the same. And I'm glad that still the regulatory, the regulatory body is BSP, and of course BSP, no BSP, is really strict as far as rules and regulations of bank are concerned. And this should be adapted, of course, by the cooperative banks. We have really to, sabi nga natin, kailangan, kung ano man ang kailangan sa ng BSP, kailangan sumunod ang mga cooperative banks. And this is actually part of the law, and I'm glad that it's still BSP that will regulate cooperative banks. And perhaps we can also submit our position paper later. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, Senator Mix, and Senator Mix, and all the uh, uh, part, uh, participating cooperatives today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, thank you. Um, I just have a question which you raised. Uh, I was thinking I had you raised a point that I would like to just confirm. Siguro na sa ano na lang sa kay Attorney Hubert. Attorney Hubert, are you still on? Uh, Attorney Molina? Yes, 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 I'm here. Okay. I just want to be cleared. Yung rural banks, they already have, a, they have a, their own charter. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, they have a charter. So tayo, kayo sa cooperative bank, ang wala pang charter. Yes. Only because of our cooperative code where we mentioned yes. that may cooperative bank. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So wala pa kayong charter? Wala. Kami lang po yung uh, banko na walang uh, separate law uh, separate law that guides us special law that guides you yeah, yeah it's a special law okay all right so thank you very much i just want to be cleared with that because you know it gives more importance to this measure that um, wala pa pala kayong charter 
uh, ang yeah. local banks. Okay. Um, I mean, cooperative banks, rather. Uh, moving forward, we have several operating cooperative banks here. Uh, we'd like to uh, recognize them, pero siguro, uh, wag masyadong mahaba yung explanation or at least a manifestation ninyo because marami po sila and we do have a three o'clock session. We'd like to recognize them one by one. We have with us here the GM of Bataan Cooperative Bank, uh, Ms. Maria Teresa Perez. Ma'am, are you uh, on board? We'd like to recognize... Yes, sir, good afternoon. Kamusta po, ma'am? Ano pong comment po ninyo sa ating uh, bill or manifestation? Um, actually, sir, uh, maganda naman po po proposal and we support po sana po is um, malaki yung may tulong sa mga cooperative banks po especially po nowadays po na malaki yung kinakaharap ng mga cooperative banks pagkakaroon ng pandemic and hopefully um, kunti yung tinat ito na yung magiging pisa para matulungan po kami mga cooperative banks thank you po thank you very much um, I'm uh, Maria Teresa Perez we'd now like to also recognize uh, Taga Consolidated Cooperative Bank, CCB. We have with us uh, Ma'am Angelita Dumog. Ma'am, you're recognized. Kung uh, gusto po niyo magbigay ng uh, manifestation of support or comment on the measure. Nandito po siya. Nag-confirm yata siya kanina. Sige, uh, we'll get back to you. Um, we have with us uh, also... Uh, ito ba yung Cooperative Bank of Cebu? Is on board. Uh, we have Ma'am Juvi Kalakat, Cooperative Bank of Bol, Majung Hapon, Ma'am. If you're there. Are you there? Uh, kung wala po, we'll move forward to the Cooperative Bank of Cebu. Miss uh, Dalia Rehuso, if you are also there to give your manifestation. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Ay, good afternoon. San po kayo, ma'am? Ayun, hindi, kita, hindi ko kayo makita, ma'am. Okay, I'm from Cooperative Bank of Cebu, sir. May hapon, ma'am. May hapon. May hapon, sir. So, if this bill will be approved, it is a great help to all cooperative banks here in the Philippines, sir. Thank you very much, ma'am. Kamusta ka mo, dia, nanay kuryente? Ang uban, sir, wala pa, pero ang bangko na anas, sir, kay frontliner man. Ay, salamat. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Kamusta okay. inyong internet service, murag, okay na? Okay, usahay, sir, pero usahay, maputol, pero padayon yun ang negosyo, sir, kay magpakabuhi, magyad ang tanan. That's correct. Oh, good. Amping dia, ha, ma'am? Salamat, so, sir. Salamat. You. Salamat, pod. Thank you. So, any other, we don't have any more, uh, oh wait, we also have, uh, that uh, was recognized earlier, Cooperative Bank of Palawan, Mr. Michael Silva. Is uh, the Cooperative Bank of Palawan here? Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Michael. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. This is Michael Silva, Compliance Officer ng Cooperative Bank of Palawan. Of course, sir, mayroon, ang CDA po, mayroon pong uh, forum na palaging kinakandak regarding the strengthening of cooperatives and of course kasama po doon yung cooperative bank of Palawan. So anything na po pwedeng may strengthen yung cooperative bank, cooperative bank including all cooperatives, sinusuportahan po namin yan. At yung CDA po nakikita namin yung kanilang initiative, especially lalo na si uh, Secretary Villanueva. Uh, to strengthen yung cooperative bank ng Palawan. So, sana po, may, may itong uh, ending ng 2021, medyo naglailo ng konti yung usapan, pero yun po yung nire-request namin, magkaroon ng sariling charter at palaging magkaroon ng usapan para sa pagpapalakas ng cooperative bank. Thank you po. Maraming maraming salamat, uh, Michael. And uh, I would like to recognize the Cooperative Bank of Zambales because she's been online kanina pa. Dapat inuna ko siya kasi online siya. Nauna siya na online. Miss Ricky May Mah Mahuay. Mauhay. Oh, good afternoon um, po. Ako po ay board secretary po 
ng Cooperative Bank of Zambales and uh, we're looking forward po sa approval ng Cooperative Banking Act since a special type of cooperative po kasi ang mga cooperative bank so may limited provisions lang po siya sa RA9520 which is hard sa amin kapag mayroon kaming mga hindi, malili, hindi malinaw na mga provisions na hindi namin maintindihan kasi mostly for primary co-ops po yung mga nandun and since special nga po kami, dalawa po yung nag-supervise sa amin, merong Banko Central and may CDA. So hopefully, with the approval of the act, magre-reconcile po yung dalawa para wala na rin pong kalituhan on the part na saan ba kami makikinig sa BSP or sa CDA. Yan lang po and thank you po. Thank you, Ma'am Ricky. Thank you for attending and listening as well. Uh, maraming salamat po. Uh, we have Cooperative Bank of Quezon. Miss Milagros Surquia, Quezon Province. Ma'am, uh, uh, Miss Surquia, are you online? Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Wala... I, I can hear someone. Uh, yes, please go ahead, ma'am. Good afternoon. Thank you for the recognition of the Cooperative Bank of Quezon Province. And... Uh, Nagpapasalamat din po kami on behalf of our German Attorney Tan na na-open po ulit for hearing itong uh, ating cooperative bank. So hopefully and pray na sana po ay ma-approve niya. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you for attending today's hearing. Uh, we have uh, with us uh, Negros Cooperative Bank, Ms. Mampevi Tongson. Mampevi... Ara kada ma'am. Uh, I don't know if she's still with us. Ma'am Pevi Tongson. Yes, Negros sir. Good Property afternoon. Bank. Ay there you are ma'am. May hapon gid. Kumusta ka na? May yung hapon sir. Actually, how are you related to my secretary? Ma'am, how are you related to my secretary general of uh, my Philippine Eskrima Kali Arnis Federation Secretary Secgen Rene Tongson. Is he your brother? Uh, I think uh, though related po siya sa husband ko, sir. Ah, sa husband mo. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I am uh, from him, my answer. Oh, wow. Okay. Tema, you good? Kasi manwa. Oh, sir. And you are Sige, ma'am. Kamusta ka mo, ma'am? Yes. Sir. Please proceed, ma'am. Please proceed on the bill. Yes. Uh, actually, sir, thank you for this initiative, sir. At least meron na pong regulation at saka yung specific identity for the cooperative bank. So we are looking forward, sir, na sana matuloy na po at saka maaprobahan ng Senate. Thank you, sir. Madam, maging salamat, ma'am. And uh, we will do our best. What is important is we have here... Someone close to the heart of our minority floor leader, Ma'am Risa. Ma'am Risa, tulungan mo naman ako. Tabangi ko, Ma'am. Maybe we can... Uh... Oy! And we have here with us, Senator Bongo. He's with us now, uh, participating also in the proceedings. Oh, mga palakpak sila, partner. Good afternoon, Senator Bongo. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm just here to give my... Uh, Full support to our, my fellow trabajador. Ito yung number one trabajador dito sa Senado. Uh, ano lang po ako, pangalawa, pangatlo. Andyan po yung mga ibang mga trabajador dito. Basta kasamahan ko po ito sa trabaho. Tayo naman po ay pagkasama. Basta interest po ng Pilipino, interest po ng bayan, ng pinag-uusapan. I'm here to uh, support you. I'm very happy to see my dear friend. Oh, my dear, dear friend. Salamat. Dito ako to support you. Thank you. Thank Salamat you so much. Salamat po na mga uh, resource persons uh, nandiyan dyan. Salamat po uh, sa inyo. Uh, just approach us po kung ano yung makakatulong para sa ating uh, gobyerno. Nandito po kami. Kaya Ma'am Riza rin po, Senator Riza. Sa lahat po nang nag-attend. Salamat sa inyo lahat. Salamat sa pag-attend, uh, my dear colleague, Senator Bongo. You know, marami dito mga Mindanao cooperatives. You have the Mindanao Consolidated Cooperative Bank. I'm sure Davao, meron din tayong Davao Cooperative Bank. So, 
uh, your support will be really use, uh, helpful in the passage of this measure. Uh, dalawang linggo na lang po maiwan pagbalik namin on May, May and June. So if we can do the TWG uh, during the break, come up with the committee report, and Ma'am Risa will help me talk to our dear minority floor leader. Uh, kaya po natin ipagdebatihan to ng first week and uh, pass it on second reading on the first week and then on the third reading the week after to be adopted by the House of Representatives. Kaya pa, may pag-asa pa. Huwag po kayo mawala ng pag-asa. May bukas pa. Ika nga sa kanta. <laughs> Tsaka nandito si Senator Bongo will help us make sure that it is signed by the President kasi maganda po ito, Senator Go, because apparently all banks have charters, whether it's uh, Rural Bank, uh, yung, uh, yung commercial banks, yung co-op bank pa pala wala. Kaya we are trying to pass a, a charter for them. So with your support, sir, and the support of the minority and all members, may papasa natin to. So moving forward, we have uh, the Network Consolidated, Network Consolidated Cooperative Bank, Mr. Raul Kalayan, uh, President and CEO. May we uh, uh, recognize the dear gentleman to give his manifestation. Of the measure. Uh, Raymond, what is your name, sir? If you can introduce yourself. You're on mute. Oh, you're on mute. Ah, uh, naka mute po kayo, sir. You're still on mute, sir. We can see you, but we cannot hear you, unfortunately, sir. You want to come back online uh, a little later? Para baka yung mic nyo, si siguro baka serado yung mic. Sige, we'll recognize you uh, last, uh, sir, again. We have with us Metro South Cooperative Bank, uh, Mr. Ignacio Manipula. Uh, you're recognized, sir. Good afternoon, so, uh, Senator Meg Subiri and Senator Risa Contiveros. I'm, pres I'm uh, representing, representing Metro South Cooperative Bank, the Chief Compliance Officer. Uh, thank you for uh, this uh, recognizing this uh, hearing uh, with the passing of this bill. Uh, it will strengthen uh, the governance of, Metro, of uh, the cooperative banks the lending operations uh, to our co-op members, which is also our stakeholders or Kamay Ali. So with your help, uh, uh, we, uh, we will be, uh, we will be uh, strength, we strengthen our uh, cooperative bank. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Your Honor. We also have with us all the way from Zamboanga del Norte, Zamboanga del Norte Cooperative Bank, uh, Mr. Ramir Bahe, we'd like to recognize Mr. Ramir Bahe. Mr. Bahe, are you online? May you recognize Mr. Bahe? Zamboanga del Norte Cooperative Bank. Nandito po siya, or can you see the master list? Online siya. Sayang, I wanted to ask pa naman. Kasi malayo ito, very rural then. I want to ask... Uh, who are the bulk of the uh, depositors of his bank. It would be quite interesting to know uh, the, the depositors, not the base of uh, the bank in Sambuanga del Norte. But we can, we can go back to them. Uh, we have with us now Banco Cooperative de Zambuanga. Buenos dias. We have with us uh, Mr. Arturo Gustavo Estacchio. Eustacchio. Are you online, sir? Banco Cooperativa de Zamboanga. Hi. Yes, yes, sir. Sir Good Art. Afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Senator uh, Migs and uh, Senator uh, Risa. Uh, of course, uh, thank you for this uh, move. And uh, we are looking forward for the approval of the, uh, this uh, co uh, cooperative uh, Bank app, which will really help the cooperative bank sector in the Philippines. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, uh, um, Sir Art. May just ask, no, I was going to ask earlier the Zamboanga del Norte, but the bulk of your depositors, uh, cooperative bank, ninyo, sir, uh, 
what are they? Are they mostly farmer, fisher folk, teachers, cooperatives? Anong, ano pong grupo uh, sa inyo? Uh, so far, sir, uh, medyo mix siya ngayon. Uh, may mga teachers, may mga uh, market vendors po. Oh, very good. That's that's good to hear. Maraming salamat, Sir Art. So, Thank you, Sir. Uh, yung earlier, we were not able to recognize because uh, he was uh, having difficulty with his microphone. We'll go back to Network Consolidated Cooperative Bank. Is Raymond Jano ready to participate? You're still on mute, sir. Sorry, we can't. Uh... Ano na lang? Approved. Do you like the, the okay, Casalo? Thumbs up, two thumbs up. That's very good. We can see that. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, next time, face to face po tayo. Don't worry. Uh, pag wala ng pandemic. Uh, any other cooperative banks who I failed to mention who would like to manifest? Uh, please uh, just uh, go online and uh, introduce yourself. We will recognize you. Meron pa ba? Wala na. We called everyone. So, we've heard uh, a number of our resource persons to, from government, from the uh, private sector, uh, most especially from the BSP, the Banco Central of the Philippines. I like the fact that the Banco Central of the Philippines interposes no objection to this measure and fully supports it. Of course, we have an objection from the DOF, but I think the objection of the DOF is mostly because of the tax provisions, the exemptions and incentives. But uh, we can amend it in such a way that it will not... Because uh, it's just a reiteration of our cooperative code. It's a reiteration of our cooperative code. So maybe we can word it in a way that it is uh, just uh, a reiteration of the particular sections of the cooperative code. So wala po tayong hinihingan na bagong incentives, wala po tayong hinihingan na bagong uh, tax exemptions. Ano lang siya? It's, we, can, we can word it in such a way that it will not be in conflict with the, what the DOF would like to achieve. So I think this is another happy bill as uh, we always coin Senator Risa's measures are happy bills. Uh, what we can do is, uh, together with the help of Senator Risa, Senator Bongo, and uh, our colleagues here, uh, let us already move towards the technical working group. Uh, magtulungan po tayo sa technical working group para mapaganda pa natin, natin lalo ang panukalang ito. And I commit to the cooperative banking sector that we will uh, uh, put this the first item priority agenda when we get back on May. So we can uh, hopefully pass it in that last two weeks. Of course, as long as we have no objections from our dear colleagues, with the help of Senator Risa, who will help me with Tito Frank. So with that said, uh, I would like to once again thank everyone from the DOF, the CDA, the DTI, um, BSP, of course, uh, yung ating mga other government agencies that were here, uh, with us today, uh, Land Bank, of course, the Rural Bank Association of the Philippines, uh, uh, DBP, nandiyan po yung DBP, uh, pumasok na, and um, we would like to invite also the Rural Bankers Association of the Philippines to join in the TWG. Although, ma'am, I know you have already a charter, and there's a pending bill here. I think I also sponsored yeah. the, your bill yes, on sir. rural banks. Yes, sir. Um, it will follow Actually, the it passed already in the lower house, and it's already in sa, sa Senate nga, sa under your uh, under your officer. Oh, nga, I'm a principal author you can of help. that. Yes, uh, yeah, I'm a principal author. What would be nice is if we can do both, right? If we can yeah. pass both in <laughs> May and June para wala magtatampo. Hopefully, Senator Bongo will also help us. Ah, yes. We've been trying to contact Senator Bongo then. Amay yung hapon, Senator Bong. Agadabaw na siya. Amay yung hapon, ma'am. May hapon, sir. We tried to contact you. And then sana, kasi yung Rural Bank Act, sir, parang pareho lang sa Bangko sa Barrio and yung sa Balik Probinsya program niyo po, sir. So, so we will support. The Senator Bong will definitely support. You would like to give a statement? First? Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, distinguished colleagues. I'm here to manifest my support for the measures being discussed here today. At uh, gaya na sinabi mo, uh, lalo, lalo na po yung mga probinsya na papabayaan mm -hmm. po. So yes. as the country suffers from the health and economic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, 
uh, many of our kababayans uh, have been suffering fin financially. Marginalized communities and families living in far-flung areas are one of the gro uh, those uh, greatly uh, affected by the downturn of our economy. So co cooperative banks uh, have been very helpful to our kababayans. And uh, in this time of pandemic, it is high time to pass a law which will make advancement and uh, proper regulation to these uh, banks. This will not only strengthen the banks, uh, but also our farmers, uh, fisher folks, small, small uh, traders, uh, micro entrepreneurs uh, in rural areas. Alam ko po yun, naintindihan ko yung mga rural bankers dahil talagang Alam kayo yung sir. tinatakbuhan nun. Eh, yes. Hanggang ngayon. Sa mga ngayon. lugar ng malalayang lugar, kayo po yung merong uh, puhunan at uh, madaling ma matakbuhan. Mas naintindihan nyo yung Alam problema sir. dyan sa, sa baba. Sa uh, Alamat, sir. Alam ko yun, dahil dyan rin po ako nanggaling sa mga lugar na yan. Miss, uh, Mr. Chair, it is our duty to uh, support any advancement uh, of this sector and uh, it is upon to help our kababayans to have a better uh, future ahead. Sabi ko nga kung ano po yung makakatulong sa mga mahirap at sa mga malalayong lugar. Full support po ako dyan. Uh, salamat po. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very salamat much for your colleague, you. Senator Bong. And yes, you have my commitment, Ma'am Melot. Ma uh, salamat ka, so ay, sir. I will now, kasi hindi po ako chairman ng committee on banks, ah, si Ma'am Grace ang chairman. I will appeal to her, I will, we Salamat will ask her to get in, Senator Bong here, na during the break, maybe she can have a hearing on that measure, para dungan na lang sila ba, when we take it up on yes, uh, May, we can uh, uh, pass both. Yours is an amendment to the... Uh, yeah, 30-year-old na kasi yun, oh, opo. Yeah. Yes, it has to be. So, so it it will really the help us. Uh, opo, yung sustainability yes, din ng rural bank sa probinsya po. Salamat. We'll do that, ma'am. We'll do that. We Salamat will work on it now. Thank you for okay. reminding us. Yo, so, uh, with that, um, uh, is there a favorite motion of uh, our colleagues? <laughs> Madam Risa, you'd like Mr. to have Chairman. any more comment before we go? No, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And uh, I look forward sa itatawag ng chair na technical working group for this bill. And yes, I commit to uh, work with the chair as always uh, to make this uh, another uh, majority-minority bill. Ganon din po yung uh, tungkol sa ating mga rural banks. And if the chairman so wishes... Uh, why is payan, Ms. Milot? And if the chairman wishes, then I will make uh, one of our favorite motions. Uh, uh, move to uh, adjourn. To adjourn, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Before we move, we uh, act on the motion of our distinguished colleagues, Ma'am Risa, we'd like to uh, direct now the committee secretariat to come up with a technical working group involving all the gentlemen and ladies here uh, in the offices of the senators present and those who want to assist uh, so that we can come up with the best possible measure, including the DOF. Ha? Arvin, kasama kayo dito, ha? Maski na po, ayaw niyong ipasa. <laughs> but as, well, as I said well, earlier, we can word it in such a way that it's not disagreeable to the DOF, I think. Uh, yan ang importante dyan. Uh, I've known the DOF for almost 20 years as a legislator, and uh, it's on the matter of schematics and wordings. I think uh, we've worked together in many measures. So, marami salamat, Arvin. Please give my best to Secretary Dominguez. And to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, maraming maraming salamat. I will now act on the motion of Santa Teresa. This hearing is hereby adjourned. Marami salamat po. Thank you.